Well, it certainly feels like winter outside, doesn't it? With those falling temperatures and icy wind. But that makes it even more fun to do wintry things like skating at the Frick, right? Well, joining us now to talk about the first ever winter fest and the plans for the season is the executive director of the Frick Pittsburgh, Elizabeth Barker. Elizabeth, thanks for joining us tonight. It's my pleasure. Yeah, I have to tell you, I absolutely love the Frick all year round, but there really is something special about it during the holidays. But this is really the first actual winter fest, right? Where the inspiration come from for that? Our team was trying to imagine a way to pay it forward. Um, we've been so grateful that people have continued to visit us during a challenging couple of years. And we thought how wonderful it would be if we could open up our beautiful grounds so that anyone in the city who wanted could come and stroll and see the lights, take advantage of the skating rink, the horse-drawn carriage rides, the cocoa for little ones, and spiked for the grown-ups. We even have a frost fairy coming, storytelling. I think it should be a wonderful week. Wow, I'm just imagining that in my head there. That's beautiful imagery. So yeah, the timing in this too is really important and, and great for you guys too, because a lot of families are really eager to get out and, and celebrate the holidays this year, right? I don't know about you, but by the end of December, I've done a lot of shopping yes, <laughs> and I'm ready for something different. Right, right. And so you, you touched on some of those activities there. Um, when is this going to start and tell us about the hours and things like that and what families can expect when they come? It runs during school vacation week. It starts on Tuesday, December 28th and lasts through the uh, the beginning of the new year. So it wraps up on Sunday, the 2nd of January. We have later hours than usual. We'll be open from noon until seven because we want people to appreciate the beautiful lights after sunset. We're encouraging folks to schedule, if they can plan ahead, their skating times, but we expect there will still be plenty of opportunities for folks to just walk up. Yeah, and I love that there's stuff for the whole family and kids and adults too. We're, we, we are really looking forward to giving some walking tours of our site. And if you come and join us every half hour on the hour or the half hour, we'll have a different walking tour and you can learn about holiday customs in the Gilded Age in Pittsburgh, or you could learn kids stories about holiday traditions. Yeah, there, you know, a lot of recreation you're mentioning there, but certainly in education too, because there's just so much history there. I mean, you could spend hours and hours there and just never get bored. I absolutely love it. We would love that too. And of course, the museums will be open and folks may need a little bit of a warm up. Uh, the cafe has reopened and we encourage people to come and get a snack rather than a full menu. We're going to wrap up the year by serving all of the delicious treats we might have denied ourselves at other times. <laughs> I love that, too. That sounds like a plan. Elizabeth, thanks so much for joining us. I'm sure you have all the information on the Frick website. We have all the information about uh, Winterfest on the KDK website as well. Thank you. We'd, we'd love right. to see everyone there. Wonderful. Thanks again.